Hello everybody and welcome to English 101 with David Hancock and Steinbeck. I'm David Hancock, this is Steinbeck, and today in this episode of Word versus Word versus Word, we're going to talk about there, there, and there. These are very three very confusing words for non-native English speakers and frankly for most Americans, if I'm honest. Um, because they sound exactly the same and they are not words that are always used in write in a written form. In fact, confession time, I was able to graduate high school without reliably being able to, to recognize the difference between the three of these and didn't learn it until college. So wherever you are at in your progress of learning English, it's not too late to learn some of these rules and things like that. Doesn't matter how young or old you are, how much English you have or haven't studied, you have the capacity at any point to learn these things. And I hope that some of what we're going to talk about will help you at least with this concept. So there are three identical sounding words, there, there, and there. The first one, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, is what's called a contraction. And in English, there's this structure called a contraction where you take two words and you smash them together. And then letters that are dropped out of the second word are replaced by an apostrophe, which looks like a comma, but is at the top of the line instead of the bottom. So they are, is a contraction, becomes T-H-E-Y, apostrophe R-E. That's the first version. The second one is T-H-E-R-E, -E, and that means location, okay? And then the third one is T-H-E-I-R, which means possession, okay? So let's take a look at how these work. If we were to say, there at the lake, oh, that's a bad one because that could go either way. All right, we're going to stick with this one actually. I'm going to illustrate why this is such a confusing set of words. If you just heard the sentence out loud, there at the lake, that could be either T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E, they are at the lake, or over there, T-H-E-R-E, -E, at the lake. That's the sort of thing where you'd need context of other sentences to understand what's being said. Where are the Joneses at? They're at the lake, T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Where's the boat? They're at the lake, T-H-E-R-E. -E. The boat is over there at the lake. Or in the first case, the Joneses, they are at the lake. That's, and that's, and, and then the third one, of course, there, T-H-E-I-R, that is their boat possession. So if you want to understand how to recognize these in written form easily, here's the trick I'm going to teach you to recognize them. If it has an apostrophe, it's two words, they are. That one's easy to recognize. If it has E-R-E, -E, it's location and your job is to locate the R that's between the two E's. Okay, so the R's location is between the two E's when it comes to their meaning location. If it has to do with possession, only one version of the word there possesses the letter I. So T-H-E-I-R possesses an I. It indicates possession. It only gets really confusing when you have sentences that have multiples of them, like they're there at their house. They are their, location, E-R-E, -E, at their, they own it, E-I-R, house. So that's one of the many ways that English is just a fantastically hard language to learn. But that's the trick. Apostrophe, possession, E-R-E, -E, locate the R for location. E-I-R possesses an I for possession. That's the trick to keep them straight. That's what they mean. 
And uh, those are the three versions of there in the English language. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Please give me a thumbs up. That lets me know that I'm on the right track producing content which is useful and helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments section below. I'm pretty good about checking these every couple of days and answering questions. If you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, and if I have the technical know-how and equipment, I'm more than happy to make those. One last thing, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I gotta get up, Steinbeck. I have to turn off the camera.